Okay, so if you look at the board, sorry. Um, okay, so I have my glass here. I've got my cutting mat. I wanna make sure I do all my cutting on this. I have my safety glasses on. Now to cut glass, you're basically um, scoring it, which is creating um, an area for the glass to break and then breaking it. So my scoring tool here has a little round nozzle. It's not necessarily a blade. If I touch it, I'm not gonna cut myself. So I'm using this ruler. You don't necessarily need to use the ruler. And actually, because I wanted to cut mine pretty small or narrow, I'm gonna move this over. You don't need to use the ruler, but I'm going to. And I'm going to run this along the edge. Now listen to the sound. It needs to sound like Velcro ripping. You hear that? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Now all that, did, all that did was create um, sort of a line. And I don't know if you can see it on here. You probably can't. Uh, you can kind of see it up there, right? With the shine. There's a line for my breaking tool to follow. So now if you look at this tool, there's one side that's got the line. The other side is the bottom because there's no line. The way I'm doing this, and I'm just doing this with paper so you can see, is my score line that I just made, I want to make sure this line is aligned with that because all this is doing is breaking. So I don't want to go the opposite way this way. I want to make sure that line is lined up. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of pressure and it breaks it just like that. So that is my breaking, my breaking tool, my scoring tool. So I know for my window, I wanna go, I'm actually probably gonna even mark this a little bit. And this is not gonna be perfect science, but I'm gonna kind of draw that it's gonna go in that direction and do the same thing. So I'm going to just go in a diagonal. Whoop, this is slipping. That was a little mark or a little noise and then break it just like that. So now when I glue this onto my glass, you can see the image here, right? I'm gonna put some Elmer's glue and I'll glue it here. Now I can take the nipper tools, which I'm gonna show next to cut that off. Uh, but that's basically how you cut straight lines or diagonal lines or anything like that. Now, if I wanna cut the moon, I cannot cut circles because glass is not gonna break in a round circle without at least not that size. So now I'm going to use the glass nipper tool to cut little pieces to build like a mosaic for that moon. Hold on one second. The nipper tools, you always want um, these little, I'm calling their eyes, right? You want the eyes to be facing up and your glass to be going through cutting in. Always, always with the nipper tools cut into a bucket or um, a tray that I, I have for you. And I'm, which one do I want? I'm just gonna use this one just to demo here. And when I place this in between the two eyes, let's say, when I cut, it's just gonna drop into the bucket. So I can, I can nip away. Now, a couple of different things you could do, and I'm gonna take a bigger piece here. Not this big, let me cut this down there real quick. Okay, so now if I wanted, I could try to make this a circle by like chewing away at the edges like a hamburger, right? Or not a hamburger. So I'm eating away at the edges to create something a little bit rounder. So in this case, I can save the little bits for my moon, but if I wanted to make something round, maybe for his face or something later, that's how you would do it. You're just chewing away at the edges. Now you're not gonna get it perfect, and it's okay because when this fires, glass is going to round out the edges. It's going to smooth out. So that's one way to get a circle or a round shape. Now I have my white container here where all the white glass is stored. I can pour this either back into the container or onto the lid. So now what I'm gonna do with this when I go to glue is I'm gonna glue all these little pieces on top of where that moon is and try to create my little mosaic with my glue. I think, I think that is it. 